Hi guys, welcome back to Bariatric Beauty and Finishing School. My name is Kelsey and I am a almost 11 year post-op of gastric bypass and I have lost 256 pounds. I'm also a 17 year professional makeup artist and today I want to talk to you guys about some food. I want to talk to you about the best foods for you after weight loss surgery. So for those of you who are following my vlog, I have now started on this new journey to be mindset. So it is from Beachbody and it is basically this whole new way of looking at a diet that's not actually a diet and it's incorporating the things that I know from my basics of weight loss surgery and my life after while also incorporating a new mindset so that I can truly have freedom from food and that is amazing. Freedom from food. Guys, freedom from being obsessed with food. Pretty incredible so let's talk about it 99 percent of the things on my list are vegetables yes so after weight loss surgery we are told to count carbs right keep your carbs under 50 that includes vegetables and fruits bananas were off my list for so so long well the majority of these are still true i still stay away from starchy vegetables but i have now decided to incorporate a lot more vegetables into my diet why because they're filling they're delicious and nobody got to be morbidly obese eating broccoli, right? Right, so some of my favorite foods to eat after weight loss surgery. I kind of made a list because I tend to kind of freeze up and then I start rambling when I'm with you guys, so I just didn't want to forget anything. So one of my most favorite foods to eat after weight loss surgery is cucumbers. So cucumbers, can you can do a thousand things with them. Oftentimes I'll slice them up into little rounds with a cherry tomato on top and a little bit of salt and pepper perfect snack. I can also mix some tagine dressing or tagine seasoning on it and this is a chili lime and lemon seasoning so it gives it a little bit of tang and also a little bit of kick. Cucumbers satisfy that need for that crunch that you want but it's also really hydrating and fresh so it's not going to hurt your stomach but it's also going to make you feel like you're actually eating something. That was the one thing I had the hardest time with after weight loss surgery was I was relying so much on liquids whether it be soups or shakes and while I did have significant success with that I just was left feeling a little bit blah about it. So adding in cucumbers and crunchy vegetables really, really helped. The same goes for peppers, red peppers, yellow peppers, orange peppers. Right now I have orange peppers in my refrigerator because they were on sale. I always look for what's on sale and what's gonna be tasty to have with my meals. Another good thing to have on hand are romaine hearts. So I buy these at Costco, they come with like six romaine lettuce hearts in this giant bag, right? And you're thinking, how am I ever gonna use that much salad? Well, if you've cut out the bread and you've cut out the pasta and you cut out the rice, lettuce wraps. So you can do these with deli meats to make up a sub in a lettuce. Or what I often do, often, 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 is I will make up different stir fries and then serve them in these long lettuce folds. So I'll do high chicken, I'll bake chicken breast, dice it really fine and stir fry it up with a little bit of cooking spray. So it's very, very low in calorie, high in protein, and it has that nice little crunchy flavor you would get from like a Taco Bell taco or something like that. We do a lot of taco nights at my house, but instead of taco shells, we use lettuce wraps. They're delicious and it's easy and fast. So these are great and they're very inexpensive. I think I get the whole six from Costco for $5 and one of those will do two meals for my family. So it's a good option. Another one is celery. So celery has very, very little actual nutritional value, but it makes you feel like you're eating something. So if you ever feel like you just need something to crunch on or munch on or everyone else is having popcorn at the movie night at your house and you're like, what am I gonna have? Chop up some celery. Sometimes if I'm feeling like I really need something, I'll take a teaspoon of peanut butter measured and put it in my celery or hummus or some dip or even that tajin mix I was telling you about before. And you have an easy snack that's low in calorie, low in carbs, and it's gonna keep you going. Another thing that I also tell people is really important, like one of the best foods for after weight loss surgery are chicken breasts. Now I have gone back and forth from being uh, on a vegan diet I have a significant foot injury right now. 
Um, so I have gone back to eating meat because I need to really up my proteins, but eventually I'll go back to a vegan diet. However, when I'm not vegan, I do do chicken breasts. So I will cook six or eight in my instant pot or in the oven, pre-bag them up like one or two chicken breasts per bag and throw them in the fridge. That way, if my family were running late for dinner or they we need something to eat for lunch, I can chop them up. We have a chicken salad right there or chop it up, throw it into the pan with some Brussels sprouts and some carrots and you have an instant stir fry. There are so many options with chicken breasts and they're generally, you could get them on sale. I'll always buy a bunch when they're on sale and throw them in the freezer. De-thaw them. Um, and cook up a bunch at once, it's easy peasy done. Tempeh is another thing that I have sort of fallen in love with lately. So if you're not familiar with tempeh, it's a little bit like um, tofu. It's actually made with soybean as well, but it doesn't have the same consistency as tofu. So for me, it tastes a little bit like, sort of like chicken, I guess. So you can stir fry it, you can bake it, you can roast it, you can fry it, however you like, but it's extremely high in protein and very, very low in carbs. So if you're a vegan, this is a great option for you or a vegetarian. I really, really like tempeh because you can marinate. It has no real taste to it, but you can marinate it and turn it into whatever taste you want, which is amazing. My secret weapon when I was losing my regain was chicken broth. So chicken broth gives your brain the illusion that you're eating something or at least you're drinking something. It's not sweet like most protein shakes, so it gives you that sort of savory connection that you're missing if you're doing a lot of protein shakes, but it also is really warm and comforting and soothing. So a lot of times when we've had a regain, we have a lot of inflammation in our stomachs or in our pouches because we've been eating a lot of crap we shouldn't. Maybe you've been throwing up a lot. I know I was dumping all the time, so I was throwing up. I always had an upset stomach. Chicken broth would really soothe everything. Plus, like I said, it kind of tricks you into feeling like you're eating something so if you're between meals but you really need something, chicken broth is a great answer. Bariatric Eating just came out with a beef stroganoff bone broth and it is incredible. So I definitely recommend checking that out. Bone broth is even better than chicken broth because bone broth has the added collagen proteins in it. So it's really, really healthy for you. It's got added protein, so check that out. This is sort of new on the scene. A lot of you, if you have been around sort of diets for a while, you probably already know about this sort of unsung hero, but cauliflower rice. Now, when I first heard about cauliflower rice and I tried to make it with a head of cauliflower, it felt like a friggin' nightmare. I have to chop it all up first or put it in the food processor and then drain it and it was wet and it was just an awful, awful mess. Now I can buy cauliflower rice literally on Amazon Fresh and have it delivered to my door in little single serve packets. It is amazing. It literally tastes and looks just like rice, but it's actually cauliflower. So you cook it up mainly the same way. Um, you don't need to cook it obviously for as long, but you can make fried rice. It is the great base for a lot of meals. So a lot of times we'll take those chicken breasts that I made, we'll take those lettuce, romaine hearts, and make ourselves like a little taco, if you will, and do it that way. I have done spaghetti um, and meatballs, but instead of with spaghetti, I've used cauliflower rice. Fried rice, I make with cauliflower rice. Mix some eggs in there and you've got a meal. There's so many options for cauliflower rice because it really has very little taste. So you can add whatever you want to it to spice it up and make it your own taste. One other thing that I love after weight loss surgery, especially when I'm needing just a little salty kick and peanuts are very high in fat, is I turn to pickles. Pickles are a great little thing. You can just have two or three little baby dills and it gives you enough flavor in your mouth and enough feeling that you've actually eaten something. And it's very, very low in carbs, low in everything. It's a great little snack thing to have. The same goes with olives or other pickled vegetables. Adding a couple of those to your plate at dinner is really gonna spice up you know, bland chicken or if you're eating the same thing day after day, which for a long time all I ate was baked chicken and steamed broccoli. If you throw a couple olives, maybe a couple pickles in there, it just gives your dish a little elevated feeling to it and gives you a little bit more flavor. One of my favorite things to have prior to weight loss surgery was pizza. I tell people all the time, I could literally live the rest of my life and only eat pizza every day because I love pizza. Having that I have celiac disease and weight loss surgery, pizza is no longer in the cards for me. However, Bariatric Eating has come up with this recipe to make chicken crust pizza. And I know what you're thinking. That sounds really weird. 
how does that work? So you take ground chicken, you mix it with some spices, a little bit of olive oil, an egg, and some Parmesan cheese. You bake it till it's crispy. You roll it all out like dough, bake it till it's crispy, throw your toppings on, bake it again. Trust me, it is amazing. It tastes great, does not taste like chicken. It definitely doesn't taste like Domino's, but it tastes so good. You get that full craving of pizza that you had. You get that full, all those yummy flavors of the tomato sauce and the cheese and the garlic and the basil and all that stuff. But you're getting a super high protein meal. So not only are you having all your cravings and everything satisfied, but you're also satisfying your protein needs and fueling your body with really, really good stuff. Another thing that I keep on hand after weight loss surgery and one of my super foods, even though it's not a food, is Crystal Light. So it's hard to find things these days that don't have, it's not hard to find things, it's not hard to find things these days that don't have any sugar in them. But it is hard to find things that aren't weirdly chemical based or that have a lot of sugar alcohols because sugar alcohols can run amok in our body. One example of this is jump on the Amazon and search sugar free gummy bears and read the reviews because it is crazy. So one way to combat that and to combat sweets cravings is Crystal Light comes in a ton of different flavors. You can have it cold, you can mix it with your um, protein shakes. A lot of times when everyone else is having a drink, I'll have some Crystal Light in a nice wine glass. I feel like I'm having a cocktail even though it's just Crystal Light. Tastes great, I'm getting all those flavors that I love with none of the added calories that I don't need. So keep that in mind next time you're in the supermarket, try some Crystal Light. They make great sweet teas. So if you're Southern, I lived in Texas for quite a while, and if you are a lover of that delicious sweet tea, Crystal Light has one that I almost can't tell the difference. So check that out. What are your favorite foods to have after weight loss surgery? Did I touch on yours? Do you have something you wanna add? Let me know. Another great food to have on hand are eggs. Eggs are inexpensive and can go a long way. A lot of times when I was struggling after weight loss surgery, there wasn't a lot of money. I would get a carton of eggs, have boiled eggs, mash it up with a little bit of Italian salad dressing, put it into one of those romaine hearts, and that could be lunch. There are a lot of things you can do with eggs. They're extremely high in protein, completely low carb. They do have some fat in them, which everybody needs a little bit of fat. So keep in mind, eggs are another great alternative. That's all I have for you guys today on bariatric beauty and finishing school. These are some of my favorite foods for after weight loss surgery. I wanna know what your favorites are. Do you have any recipes that I should try? Let me know. I'll talk to you guys soon.